Did you know that pollination is essential for the correct functioning and ecological balance of our planet? In this The Daily Eco video, we explain what pollination is, how it works, and what types of pollination exist. Let's get started. What is pollination? Plant pollination is the biological process by which pollen is transported from the male structures of a flower to the female parts, either within the same plant or between different plants. In the latter case, the process is called cross-pollination. Through this curious process, the first phase of the reproduction plant species takes place. Therefore, we can say that it is the first step to achieve the survival and evolution of the plant species. How does pollination occur? Natural pollination is done by transporting pollen through biotic and abiotic agents, which guarantee that the male gametes found in the stamens of the flowers are deposited in the pistil of the flowers, thus fertilizing the female gametes. This process has numerous and different pollination strategies developed both by pollinators and by the plants themselves. As an example of the pollination process, with adaptation of the plants themselves and through insects, we highlight the amazing case of the bumblebee orchid. Their colors and texture resemble the body of females of certain species of bumblebees. The orchid manages to attract male bumblebees to itself. These will later carry the pollen grains in their bodies covered with hair until they reach another orchid, thus achieving the pollination of this plant species. On the other hand, it's important to highlight the importance of bees as pollinators. Due to their behavior, they frequently visit large numbers of flowers, which positions them as efficient pollinators compared to others. In addition, they are considered as the group best adapted to the floral visit, and due to the large number of species and their abundance, they are essential for pollination. Before we continue, let's put you to the test. How many years do you think we could live if the bees disappeared? A. 4 years B. 14 years or C. 24 years Think about it because at the end of the video, you'll be able to find out if you're right. But for now, let's continue with the video. Pollination types Pollination classes are grouped into three types. Anemophilic pollination or wind pollination, hydrophilic or water pollination, zoophilic or animal pollination. Within this last type of pollination, the subgroup of entomophilic pollination made by insects is particularly distinguished. There are thousands of species of insects that carry out the pollination process in millions of plants around the planet's ecosystem. Importance of pollination Pollination is essential to maintain the balance of ecological systems, as well as people's food security, since the production of agricultural systems depends directly on the pollination of crops. As we have seen throughout the video, pollination is the process that allows plants to reproduce and directly there is food for herbivorous animals and omnivorous animals, and therefore also for carnivorous animals. On the other hand, the existence of highly biodiverse pollinators optimally favors both crop yields and the balance of natural ecosystems. And going back to the question we had asked you before, have you thought about it? The correct answer is A. If bees disappear, we would only have four years to live. This is according to the renowned scientist Albert Einstein who knew the importance of the pollination of bees and the essential function of these within the correct functioning and ecological balance of planet Earth. So tell us, did you know that pollination was so important for our survival? We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.